Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. My story is a long and winding one, woven into the tapestry of time and space, interspersed with the flicker of celestial bodies. You must be familiar with our solar system, the usual subjects, the sun, the planets, the satellites, and the asteroids. But there is one character in our story, cloaked in the folds of mystery, long hypothesized yet largely undiscovered, Nibiru. As a time traveler, I can traverse not just the ages, but also dimensions, defying the constraints of the physical world. In my quest to explore the universe and its many mysteries, I stumbled upon the enigma that is Nibiru. Named by ancient civilizations and largely whispered in scientific circles, Nibiru has fascinated astronomers and theorists for centuries. A planetary body that's supposed to be part of our solar system, yet always managing to elude detection. My journey to uncover the truth about Nibiru wasn't a planned mission. It was more of a personal endeavor born out of my insatiable curiosity. The technology we have in the 25th century makes searching for celestial bodies a much easier task, but the elusive nature of Nibiru has always made it a challenge. The planet has been at the center of many conspiracy theories, but I was not interested in speculation. I wanted to witness it myself, to validate its existence and uncover its secrets. Firing up my time space cruiser, I plotted coordinates that would take me beyond the known confines of our solar system. This path was not a standard route. It was a weaving trajectory that would take me into areas of space less traveled, where Nibiru was purported to reside. The sheer vastness of space was a sight to behold, the countless stars serving as my guiding lights, and the cosmic darkness a witness to my journey. Navigating through the vacuum of space is a complex task, even for a time traveler. My voyage involved intricate calculations and precise movements, allowing me to avoid anomalies, debris, and other celestial bodies. The universe is not a static entity. It constantly moves and shifts in ways that even the most advanced technology finds challenging to predict accurately. But this complexity only fueled my determination to discover the elusive Nibiru. Weeks turned into months as I ventured farther into the outer realms of the solar system. The view from my cruiser became filled with unfamiliar celestial bodies and constellations. As I advanced, the sense of isolation grew profound. I was in a region of space uncharted by humans, alone with my thoughts and my mission. I came across celestial wonders that would leave the most articulate poets at a loss for words. Supernovae in distant galaxies painted the inky blackness with strokes of radiant hues. Nebulas, like celestial artists, sculpted intricate formations in the fabric of space. Yet amidst this cosmic symphony, my thoughts remained on Nibiru. One day, as I was aligning my cruiser for a routine scan of a remote asteroid belt, an unusual signal caught my attention. The scanners on board were designed to identify celestial bodies based on their unique energy signatures. But this one was different. It was erratic, fluctuating in a pattern I had never seen before. Could it be Nibiru? Carefully adjusting the course of my cruiser, I moved closer to the source of the mysterious signal. Anticipation filled the air as the once distant signal grew stronger, and a blurry dot started to emerge in the distance. The systems on board confirmed that this was a planet, but was it Nibiru? Days passed as I slowly approached the unknown planet, the anticipation building like a symphony reaching its crescendo. As I drew closer, the planet's features began to unravel. It was massive, larger than any planet in our known solar system. It had a unique reddish hue, with swirls of orange and streaks of white adding to its intrigue. Upon my arrival, the onboard systems confirmed the planet's identity. The enigma of the solar system, the planet of many speculations, the elusive celestial body Nibiru was finally before my eyes. It was a sight to behold, a marvel in the cosmos that had evaded detection for centuries. My first task was to map the planet's surface. From my cruiser, I launched a fleet of drones designed to withstand the extreme conditions of alien planets. As they dispersed, I watched Nibiru on my screens, its details being etched into the maps with each passing second. The images being relayed back were astounding. Nibiru was a world unlike any other. Massive chasms etched into its surface, vast seas that shimmered under the light of distant stars, mountains that stretched into the sky, their peaks veiled in swirling clouds, and expansive deserts where time seemed to stand still. The planet's unique landscape was a testament to its intriguing geological history. The drones sent back data indicating that Nibiru's atmosphere was dense, composed of heavy gases, 
unlike those found on Earth or other known planets. This led to a unique climate and weather system. The planet had tempestuous storms, far more potent than any storm on Earth or Jupiter, with wind speeds that could reach hundreds of miles per hour. While exploring this alien world, my systems picked up a strange anomaly. There were irregular seismic readings coming from deep within the planet. The activity suggested something beyond natural geological processes. Intrigued, I decided to investigate further. Deploying a drill drone, I prepared to dig deep into the core of Nibiru. It was a daunting task. Drilling through the planet's hard crust was a challenge even for our 25th century technology. But it was a risk worth taking. I was, after all, the first time traveler to reach this enigmatic planet. The drone started to burrow into the ground, digging deeper into the heart of Nibiru. It sent back readings every minute, the data streaming onto my screen like a fascinating cosmic tale being narrated live. The deeper it went, the stranger the readings became. There were instances where the drone's drill would suddenly become extremely hot, almost on the verge of melting, and then immediately cool down. There were pockets of gases that we'd never encountered before. It was as if Nibiru was a treasure trove of cosmic secrets. After what felt like ages, the drone hit something hard. It wasn't a natural barrier but a structured one. Could it be? A constructed structure deep within Nibiru? My pulse raced as I adjusted the drone's settings to explore further. What the drone revealed was beyond my wildest expectations. Nestled deep within Nibiru was a colossal structure, an architectural masterpiece of an alien civilization. But there were no signs of life, no movement, nothing. It was as if the place had been abandoned for millennia. Intrigued, I directed the drone to explore the structure further. It navigated through vast halls and rooms, its lights illuminating the eerie silence. Every room was filled with strange devices, some resembling machines and others like artifacts. But there was no life, no alien beings, just the remnants of a once thriving civilization. As I explored Nibiru's inner depths and its alien architecture, I couldn't help but wonder about the civilization that once existed here. Were they like us, wondering about the cosmos, or were they fundamentally different, with beliefs and systems alien to our understanding? These questions nod at my mind, filling my journey with a sense of melancholic wonder. I spent months exploring this alien metropolis, its silent halls echoing with whispers of a forgotten past. The architecture was unlike anything I'd seen before, adorned with intricate carvings and designs that seemed to be depicting celestial bodies and events, perhaps even the history of their civilization. From what I could decipher from the artifacts and carvings, the civilization seemed highly advanced, possibly even more than us. They had mastered technologies and sciences that we are yet to comprehend. From their depictions, it appeared as if they had a profound understanding of the universe, its secrets, and possibly even the fabric of reality itself. The implications of these findings were staggering. Here was an advanced civilization that lived and thrived in the distant past, only to vanish mysteriously, leaving behind their legacy encased within Nibiru. What led to their disappearance was something I could only speculate about. Could it have been a natural disaster, a catastrophic event, or perhaps a more profound reason, something beyond my understanding? While exploring one particular chamber, my drone discovered an object unlike any other it had encountered. It was a massive monolith, standing tall amidst the silent city, its surface covered in intricate carvings that depicted a myriad of celestial events. But it wasn't just the monolith's size or its carvings that fascinated me. It was the energy it emanated, an energy signature similar to the erratic one that led me to Nibiru. Upon closer inspection, the monolith appeared to be not just a symbol or a piece of art, but a device, a tool perhaps. Could it have been a navigation aid, a cosmic calendar, or a communication device? The possibilities were as vast as the cosmos itself. It seemed the civilization that once dwelled here had achieved a level of technological advancement far beyond our own. I had spent over a year on Nibiru, charting its surface, exploring its depths, and marveling at its secrets. But it was time for me to return. With a heavy heart, I ordered the drone to return, its mission accomplished, its data invaluable. I watched as the ancient city receded, becoming a tiny speck in the darkness, a silent whisper in the cosmic symphony. As I piloted my cruiser away from Nibiru, I looked back at the enigmatic planet one last time. A planet of many mysteries, a testament to a lost civilization, a silent observer in the grand cosmic theater.
Nibiru was not just another celestial body. It was a piece of cosmic history, a relic from a time unknown, a story waiting to be told. The voyage back was filled with contemplation. The data I had gathered was not just about an alien planet but also about a civilization, a story of their rise, their accomplishments, their understanding of the cosmos, and their ultimate disappearance. As I approached the familiar territories of our solar system, I couldn't help but feel a sense of loss. Nibiru and its secrets had changed my perspective. I was returning with knowledge that would transform our understanding of the cosmos, of civilizations, and possibly ourselves. I was filled with a newfound appreciation for our place in the universe. We are but one planet, one species, in a grand cosmic tapestry filled with unknown worlds and untold stories. As I prepared to dock my cruiser and share my findings, I couldn't help but feel a tinge of excitement for the future. What secrets does the universe still hold? How many more Nibirus are out there waiting to be discovered? Until we meet again, farewell.